Gangplank is everywhere at the moment after those buffs he got last patch, so here's a quick guide to get you started if you're looking to see what all the fuss is about. Gangplank is a crit based scaling powerhouse top lane that has the ability to completely destroy teams with his insane AoE damage. Gangplank has good ranged harass for a melee champion and has his own self heal and cleanse in his W. He does take a ton of practice though and he can easily not be impactful enough when the player doesn't quite know how to play him properly. Gangplank has the potential to deal massive damage, however he himself is also incredibly squishy, so positioning is key. When it comes to Gangplank's runes there are some different options depending on those matchups, but the most popular one for the majority of games is running Inspiration first. First Strike gives you more trading power and gold and alongside Futures Market you can spike so much sooner than normal. Pick up some free boots and Time Warp Tonic to finish off this tree. For your secondary runes we're all about scaling, Transcendence for those lower cooldowns and Gathering Storm to make sure you hit even harder in the late game. You'll definitely want to max your Q first as this is your main damaging ability. After that max your E second and finally your W third. Moving on to items and Gangplank has one main mythic item to go for right now and that just has to be Prowler's Claw. This item gives him tons more damage, burst and of course the mobility active and damage amplification which just helps him get in and pop down those targets easier. Often before you pick up your mythic though you want to focus on rushing that essence reaver. This item gives you tons of crit, mana and damage and when you complete it you will feel instantly stronger. Follow that with infinity edge and lord dominance regards for your core item build. Of course there's also some very potent situational items that you can go for if you do feel like they will be better choices. The collector, serpent's fang and even yumu's ghost blade can be amazing in certain games. If you need a bit more survivability though, Guardian Angel and more of my Mortius are the way to go depending on if you need armor or magic resist. So against easier matchups you can look to absolutely bully them with your Q, trade around your passive and time your W to remove any CC and turn most fights into your favor. Use your barrels to zone them off any CS and harass them with them too if they get too close. Gangplank is a scaling champion, so as long as you go even you're going to be just fine, but if you can abuse those easy matchups and scale even quicker, you're going to have a much better chance of carrying. Against harder lanes you're going to need to play a lot smarter and just focus on scaling up. Try not to get behind in these matchups as they are very snowball heavy and can make you kind of redundant. Don't take too many voluntary fights unless your enemy misplays with their abilities and look to play around your jungler instead. Even in these bad lanes though you can influence the rest of the game with your ultimate so keep an eye on the rest of the map and try to pick up kills and assists. In terms of synergy Gangplank works well with any junglers who can help him spike earlier with some strong early ganks. Aside from that any teammates that can provide some good AoE crowd control are brilliant as this will allow Gangplank to unleash massive AoE damage with his barrels and his ultimate in those teamfights. During the lane phase it's all about farming as efficiently as you can whilst poking and fighting as often as you want depending on that matchup. Your Q offers fantastic poke and alongside your passive it can deal some significant damage early game if you continue to use it often. Gangplank's passive also grants movement speed when you use it and this passive resets when one of your barrels explodes so try to time this so you can avoid incoming retaliation. When farming on Gangplank you're looking at both gold and silver serpents. Silver serpents are gained by farming with your Q and queuing your barrels too. These can be spent in the shop to upgrade your ultimate so it's important to keep this going no matter what kind of lane you're in. Gangplank's barrels are on a fairly long cooldown early game but you can use them to add to your poke or to zone your enemy off of farm. If they come into range, auto attack it once and then queue it to deal some good damage. Once you've got some crit items your Q and barrels will hurt even more, so you want to make sure you get that crit as early as possible. In certain matchups the use of your W will decide whether you win or lose most trades and fights. If you're facing an enemy with CC it's definitely best to save this for when they use it so you can instantly cleanse it and either fight back or get away safely. As we've mentioned already you should always be looking around the map for opportunities to pick up kills and assists and just generally help your teammates with your ultimate. Team fighting on Gangplank really does take some practice but this is definitely the area where he has the most potential. Gangplank's AoE damage with his barrels and his ultimate is simply unbelievable if you can manage to pull it off correctly. Always try to look for areas where you can benefit most from your barrels. Use the fog of war and tight spaces to set these up easier and if you land them they can easily one shot entire teams. There's usually a point in team fights where you need to get stuck in close and personal to finish enemies off and it's at this point you want to commit with your prowler's claw and maybe even your flash too. Make sure you know this though but once you're in you're probably going to die pretty quickly as you're still very squishy so make sure if you do this it's worth it. Gangplank's flanking potential is also very strong as you can set up chains of barrels behind teams and simply laugh as they walk straight into them. You can also use your ultimate to zone and force them in a specific direction leading them straight into that huge AoE massacre. Let's finish off this quick Gangplank guide with a few tips. Gangplank's EQE combo is a classic and essential combo that you should learn when playing Gangplank. Once you have a barrel on the floor, queue it and then before the queue lands line up another barrel so that it explodes too and bursts down your enemy. You can also combine your flash with your barrels to chain them further and take out targets from a greater distance. Learning this combo is key to becoming a Gangplank master, so we'd advise getting into practice mode and learning how to do it once you've got those basics nailed down. Don't forget Gangplank's barrels also slow your enemies, so this gives you time to chase them down afterwards and finish them off if they aren't dead already. This is also really appropriate in lane 2 as in close range fights the slow can make the difference when chasing or escaping, especially as it refreshes the movement speed from your passive. I hope you enjoyed this short guide on Gangplank, good luck and have fun.